Welcome back gamers to the official sub hosting YouTube channel, my name is Ellie and in today's tutorial I will show you how you can get your own Garry's mod server in just a minute, so let's get started. First, as always, visit our website zapmineshosting.com and log in into your Zap account. If you don't have an account yet, you can register here for free. Now navigate to the game server bar, click on Explore Game Servers and then click on the Rent a Game Server button. On this page, simply find the search box, then search for Garry's mode and choose your preferred game mode. For this tutorial, I will go with Vanilla. You are now able to configure the server to your liking. You can change the server location, slots, RAM, display, CPU and IVP4 is important if you want to protect your server from incoming details attacks. Finally, select a payment method, but before you confirm your order, here is a little gift from us. 30% of voucher code, which you can use by clicking here on your voucher and typing gmod-30. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now open your server in our web interface and wait for the server files to finish downloading. After the installation is completed, navigate to the settings tab which can be found right here on the left. Here feel free to change your server's name, set a server password, change the map and the game mode but most importantly you have to generate and put in your GSL token. To get your GSL token, firstly press on this link right here and you will be redirected to a Steam page, so simply log in to Steam using your credentials. Once you are logged in, scroll down and find the app ID field, enter 4000. On the second field, type whatever name you want and click on create. After that, your GSL token will be created, so copy it, go back to the Zap interface and paste it right into this field. You can also find many other service settings in the configuration tab, but after any changes, remember to save the settings and reset your server by holding the red stop button. Once the server comes back online, find your server's IP address, copy it and then launch Garry's mod on your PC. In the game, you can search for your server by clicking on play multiplayer and browsing through the server list, but I will show you the second and probably the easiest way to connect your server. First, find the button that opens the in-game console. If you don't know the button, click on options, navigate the keyboard tab and scroll down until you find the key that opens the developer console. For me, it is the old key. So once you locate the key, close the options menu and then open the in-game console using this key. Now type connect and after that paste in the IP address of your server. Once you've done that, press enter on your keyboard and you will automatically start joining the server. And here you go, you have now successfully connected to your own Gary Smart server. Enjoy! If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your Zap server.